What's going on, guys? I'm going to show you um, some um, the build I'm using and one piece of my gear that I think is very important. All right, so my gear I've got 86 Magic Fine. This does help a lot. I wish I had 300, but I'm working my way up there. Okay, the piece that I think is the most important for a monk to get is this right here. This Hellcat Waste Guard. It, the dexterity is low. This is all you can find in the auction house. I found it for 3.7 million gold. Uh, you can get this with like 150 decks or maybe even higher and some other good uh, rolls. But this is what I found for 3.7 million. It's 1.5 uh, spirit per second. So that's really huge when you're getting to a new pack and you want to have enough to pop sweeping wind on the way or when you're kiting. I mean, it's really huge. Also, I keep this in my bags. Uh, for when I want to regen fast, I found this in the auction house for about 10,000 gold, which was dirt cheap. And I found this. Um, actually, this one dropped, so I just got that for free. But if you look, if I put it on, I got 5.9% uh, 5.9 regen per second. So watch when I hit my Not stuff. enough spirit. Look how fast that regens. I mean, it's insane how fast it regens. If I'm if I'm kiting a mob, or if I die and I want to come back in the fight with full regen, I mean, you just throw this on, and it goes really fast. So I just keep these two items in my bags. But this is normally what I have on. All right, and my gear, I've got 38 crit with a scoundrel. 341 uh, crit hit damage. There's my defense. That's my resist. I've got 180 life per hit. It's really not much. But uh, my life steal is 2.9. My life per kill is pretty important because when there's just a ton of mobs on the screen, every one that dies gives me that much uh, health. It's just really nice. My healing glow to bonus to gloves is a little over 9,000. So again, that's another nice thing when I hit Serenity and I'm killing an elite pack and mobs around me just dying. I mean, this heal helps a lot because I don't have like a thousand life on hit, which costs just an arm and a leg. This right here, I find keeps me up, keeps me up um, pretty well. All right, so let's watch some gameplay of. Well, actually, no. Let me tell you my build real quick. Since I'm mostly doing Act 3, this is what I chose, but if I was going to do Act 1, I don't know why I would, but if I did, I would probably use Combination Strike for more DPS, that 8%. 8, uh, 8 I would also use this if I was in a party, because that 6% um, is pretty nice too. Now, okay, so this is a pretty a typical build except for my Deadly Reach. Now, I sacrificed... Um, blinding flash even though that gives me a nice 30 seconds of I mean three seconds of 30 percent boost and you combine that with this 38 plus the 48 is like a massive massive DPS uh, burst that you can do in a serenity and if you have probably about 60,000 plus DPS unbuffed you can probably uh, down an elite in that three, three to four seconds all right to talk about this build a little if bit this is pretty much, much standard longer, what everybody used now the deadly reach I've sacrificed blind of of course so that 18% for 30 seconds versus a 3% uh I mean the 30% for 3 seconds I think that's a fair trade and and also re another reason why I use this build I mean this deadly reach is because well actually I'm going to show you in the video why I use it now this serenity I used to use the peaceful repost but I find that that um, 7,000 heal is unnecessary. That one second is much better. Because I have some regen, I generally heal myself to full. So I, I, I don't need that heal. This heal here is nice, plus the 15%. Uh, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. Everybody knows about that. This, is, this right here is by far, I'm telling you, by far the best mantra to use. If you can't use this mantra with overall, I mean, overall, if you can't use that, then I would suggest lowering your act to act two or act one and use this because you can farm elites so much faster, so much more efficient than using any of these other mantras by using this. Um, because of the new change in game where you can farm 4.8% uh, drops of level 63 items in act one, I suggest 
using this and Phase Roll in Act 1. If you can use this in Phase Roll Act 2, great. If you can use this in Phase Roll Act 3, even better. But if you have to use Mantra of Evasion just to get into Act 2 or 3, and you're killing much slower because you might be using, let's say, Deadly Reach with Keen Eye for that armor debuff, and if you and if it's even worse, we're using this as a secondary and this is a uh, primary with what is it? Where is it? Mm -mm, no, no, no. Where is it? Is it this? Yes. Okay. So if you're using Deadly Reach and this together, which it um, reduces enemy damage by 20%. So if you're using that and this and you're really tanky build and you're killing extremely slow I would suggest going back to an act that you can face roll with this build and actually I would I'll replace it with, with blinding eyes so I can uh, burst elites because I, I only use this because of, of act 3 but that's what I would do for act 1 and I farm that much faster so I would suggest uh, give that a try now these three are pretty self-explanatory I don't have to explain that all right, let's do some gameplay. Okay, so with Deadly Reach, see those monsters right there with the forearms who hit like a truck, basically one-shots you? Um, there's no way in hell I'm going to... Normally, you can't walk through mobs, but with these mobs, you can. So if there was just one, instead of running away from it, I would run behind it, and as it throws its fist you know, in front of me, I'm behind it. But since it's forward, there's no way in hell I'm going to get close to them. So this is one very good example of why Deadly Reach is very important. So without this, I, I wouldn't be able to kite these four, and they'd probably kill me. I mean, if I use Thunderclap, I mean, thun Fist of Thunder and teleport it in, I'd pretty much be a dead man right here. But anyways, I've got him down with that, so yeah. Okay, so in Act 3, there's a lot of choke points. These doors make very good choke points, just, especially for big mobs. These little guys, not so much. But basically, what I like to do is use this as a choke point and use my deadly reach so I can hit every mob behind it. And don't do that. I died to an explosion that I didn't notice. But also, what I like to do for these elites, um, well, if I can get in a corner, and if they chase me, which they will, these aren't uh, ranged, I can basically, they won't surround me, and I will, um, they won't surround me with molten. So if you can get in a corner, your cyclones will just uh, own them, and uh, these go down really easy. So that's one tip for these type of melee mobs. Um, now, unless there was one that had like Desecrate and um, Arcane, those Arcane beans, don't let them trap you in the corner because you will die to an arcade beam. But if you don't have a, if you don't have those arcane beams, and if you don't have like, um, let's say, shielding, you're pretty safe in the corner. Um, let me see. These mobs here, there's really nothing much to say. I mean, obviously, avoid the arcane beams. But another good thing I'm going to show you right, right here is the deadly beach. Actually, yeah, right here. See, I used deadly reach because I had to get just far enough away. And sometimes when you get far away with Deadly Reach and you're not able to refresh your um, Cyclone in 6 seconds, it drops off and it's kind of annoying, you have to refresh it. So, and that's another good reason to use um, Deadly Reach is when you're far away, the mobs like in Desecrate or Poison and you don't want to teleport in with um, with your fi uh, Fist of Thunder because that just puts you right in like a Molten. Well, I didn't even notice this guy, but <laughs> he's gonna die. Anyways, yeah, so if you want to hit a mob and you don't want to teleport in on top of like Molten or Desecrate or Poison So I don't know what happened, but I lost video for a second, but um, anyways, I'm back here These guys are pretty easy, there's not much to say about these guys But if the heat gets too hot in the kitchen and you know, there's tons of mobs Just use the terrain to your advantage, run up the stairs like this, use it as a choke point now, they fear, which is kind of annoying, but if you can just stand there, I mean, they would just all come to you and die to your death reach. So there's another good example of when to use it. 